Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another Dollar Tree hack video. This time we are focusing on $1 summer hacks from Dollar Tree. And the cool thing is this video is a part of David Owen Creates Hop. So after you watch my video, uh, there will be a link down below. You can click it and watch the next person's video and they're using similar items. So first off, I think we all know that Dollar Tree carries clothespins. Clothespins have a million and five purposes beyond <laughs> just hanging up your clothes. And I've showed in previous videos where you can hang your garden gloves by gluing these clothespins to a little wood strip. But if you snatch up some of Dollar Tree's chalkboard tags, you can hot glue these to your clothespin and use this while you're sorting for your garage sale. So like we just did, went through the kids' clothes, we have below 4T and girls' clothing, or use it to label foods at outdoor parties. So like hot, mild, gluten-free, whatever else you gotta label or separate so people know. If you use some of Dollar Tree's magnets too, by the way, on the other side of the clothespins, you can store these on your refrigerator or on a dry erase board while they're not in use. I also want to let you know Dollar Tree does carry a little chalkboard tag that comes with a clothespin, but the clothespin is really small and it doesn't hook on to very many things that easily. You can also use clothespins for gardening, like I do. Heads up, by the way, <laughs> Dollar Tree seeds have always been a winner for me, and I'm kind of like a throw and sow, grow type of gal. I'm not very scientific about it, but... Those tags that you can buy in stores, no, no matter what I use, Sharpie, it doesn't matter. It fades away and I can't read what the vegetable is supposed to be. So if you paint a clothespin, you can tag what the seeds are and then take one of Dollar Tree's barbecue skewers, the metal type, stab that in the ground and put a matching clothespin with the vegetable you planted. You see what I'm saying there? I can see what I have going on. I won't forget <laughs> what I planted. That's the only thing that's really worked out well for me. And Dollar Tree also has a bunch of very budget-friendly summer dinerware, along with Walmart too, by the way. Check them out. They got a bunch of 50 cent stuff. But if you snatch up some of Dollar Tree's cake pans, gel super glue, and attach two pans together, after that dries, you can spray paint it to the color of your choice. I just like black. I think it looks nice and classy. This is great for holding beverage dispensers. So whether you want to use this for laundry or for lemonade, this works really well, super budget friendly. You can do the same thing to some of Dollar Tree's charger plates. Instead of using two charger plates, snatch up one of Dollar Tree's garden tins, hot glue, gel super glue, spray paint it black. This would make a great plant stand. Or you can use this as a cake tray to put lemons on or food for outdoor entertaining. Another idea, one of these planters and Dollar Tree's cake stands, paint it black. This is a higher up beverage dispenser holder. So if you're not going to put your beverage dispenser on the edge of the table, do that instead. Next, David challenged us to use one of Dollar Tree's wreath forms. And let me tell you, Dollar Tree has so many great wreath forms for only a dollar. From the willow wreaths to the foam to the lighter willow wreaths, they also have some great wire wreath forms from this 18 inch all the way down to a two pack of eight inch wreath forms. By the way, I've shown in the past how you can take some eight inch wreath forms to make these really cute orbs. I'll have that video linked in the description. So of course, the wreath forms are great to use as wreath forms, but I saw this really cool DIY on Jorge Gomez, forgive me if I'm butchering his name, I'll have his channel linked in the description. He took these foam wreath forms, glued them together, and I painted mine white because I'm gonna go back and spray paint. I wanted to fill in some holes, then spray painted mine black. He did a few extra steps and his looked really amazing. So definitely check out his channel and his video. Like I said, I'll be linked in the description. Anyways, this makes a really cool 
plant container so you can just like put your plant in there or I also thought it'd be cool to like hold your chips if you're outside. Chip bowls are always thrown away. I thought this was a great solution. Now in the past so many times I've showed how you can make Dollar Tree pillows using these bath mats. These are 98% cotton machine washable works out great. Dollar Tree recently got in these darker bath mats. So I decided to mix it up with some of their lighter bath mats hot glued a few strips of the lighter bath mat onto my darker bath mat. And then all you have to do is just hot glue your two darker bath mats together. So the upside of the bath mat is now facing inwards. So it's kind of like inside out. Trick to doing this, use a boatload of hot glue. I use regular glue. I have washed these. I keep mine outside all the time. And heads up, I've mentioned this before in many other videos, but Dollar General sells a $2 value pillow. One value pillow will fill two throw pillows. In the past, I've sewed up the edges with Dollar Tree's twine or yarn. This time I just hot glued it. But like I said, many videos on this, I'll have those also linked in the description. And I love the way these turned out. Now, one item uh, that David challenged us to use was a Dollar Tree book. I don't have any DIYs for a book, but I do have a tip or an idea. A lot of Dollar Tree's books are solid colors. So if you find a book you like, you could take the plastic cover off and just use it as decor. So like, here's my grandmother's Bible and another book she gave me that means something to me. I paired these up with some of Dollar Tree's white books just to get a cohesive look. Okay, y'all, check this out. So for Christmas, Dollar Tree started carrying value packs of their Tumbling Tower game. I thought it was a Christmas special deal. No, it's not. They still have the value pack of Tumbling Tower games, which is two times the normal size you get when you buy a package of Tumbling Tower games. In the past, I've shown these are super easy to stain just using coffee. I always get questions, so let me just lay it out right here. Hot coffee or tea stains the fastest. Brew your coffee extra strong and let your coffee sit or let your block soak for at least 20 minutes. Also, if you want more dimension or contrast, you can double soak half the batch so you have more colors and different depths of the wood. And that's what I did. I like to do that. I've also shown so many times, look, you can make coasters out of these by using gel super glue and putting your blocks together. I've also shown where you can make a mirror frame or even use this for a picture frame. But I'm in love with how this turned out. All you need to do is get some free wood. And that sounds simpler or like, oh, okay, where am I going to get free wood? No worry. <laughs> Let me help you out. Go to Facebook, click the little market button, go to the market search and just type in free wood in your area. And you can set like 20 miles out, 60 miles out. It's going to pop up all the listings for free wood in your area. Just scroll down, find the one you like and snatch it up. Now, check it out. If you don't live in a big metropolitan area or maybe your area, people just aren't giving away free wood. That's fine too, because Home Depot and Lowe's both sell their scrap wood for less than a dollar. Some Lowe's will even give their wood away for free. All you got to do is use some wood glue and put your blocks on to your scrap wood. Let that dry. Now, I only used four boxes and my tray is two feet by about 12 inches. And these blocks are not perfect, so they're not going to match up. You could leave it as is, but if that bothers you, just go back in with some wood glue in the cracks, wipe it in with a damp cloth, and then sand. So while you're sanding, the little sawdust is going to get stuck in between the cracks, and it just makes it smoother, makes it look more store-bought. And then you just need some handles. Now, I want this to be a working tray. So this is a handle I got from Habitat from Humanity Restore. But if you don't have a restore around, check out Walmart. They're always selling handles for like 75 cents. Or like I've shown in past videos, you can definitely use some of Dollar Tree's faux leather ribbon as handles. 
just the same. And I'll have that video also linked in the description. And so check it out. This is a real tray. This is a for real tray. I can pick it up. I can put food on it. Looks beautiful outside. I love the way this looks. Now don't call me crazy or you can call me crazy if you want, but <laughs> don't just, I have an idea in my mind. It sounds crazy. I think I'm going to make a bench using these little Jenga pieces. It really is a good deal for only a dollar. Of course, you could buy wood and cut it down and that would be cheaper, but it's so convenient to buy these little pieces for only a dollar. Thank you so much for watching, my friend. I will catch you next time.